Navigo is Winnipeg Transit's online trip planner. It's a simple step-by-step -step process to plan your travel using transit. You tell Navigo where your trip starts, where you want to go, and the time you want to travel, and Navigo will show you up to five complete trip options to choose from. Over the next few minutes, we will show you how to plan trips and interpret the results. To start planning your trip, begin by entering a start location. There are several ways you can enter a start location. By address, by intersection, by landmark, or by using the map feature. If possible, Navigo will offer suggestions that could finish the address you are entering. If the correct address is offered, you may click on it to select it. In most cases, about three letters of a street name are enough to identify an address. Next, enter a destination. If you are logged in, the option Save to My Locations will appear. Press Save to add this new location to your My Locations. Now that you have saved this location, you can access it from your My Locations next time you plan a trip. Once you have entered your start and end location, enter the time you would like to travel. Several different formats are accepted. You can enter your time using a 12 or 24 hour clock, with or without a colon, and with or without minutes. You will need to select AM or PM if you are using a 12 hour clock. For this example, I want to leave after lunch. At this point, I could press the Submit button and Navigo would plan my trip for me. I do have the option of asking Navigo to plan my trip for a future date by selecting that date on the calendar. Navigo automatically defaults to today's date. I can also change some other settings used by Navigo. Press the Show button in order to view or change the advanced settings used by Navigo when planning your trip. If you have created a profile, those settings you specified will automatically be entered here. You can override these options for a specific trip if you choose. For example, if you require a low floor easy access bus for a specific trip, you can click that box and Navigo will only search for low floor trips. Other advanced options you can choose are maximum wait time at transfers, maximum walking time, and walking speed. Now that you have adjusted all your options, hit submit. Navigo will display up to five trip results for your request. Each trip will be displayed in a tabbed result pane above the map. When you click on one of the tabs, you will see your start time, arrival time at your destination, total trip time, the number of buses you will take, how much walking and waiting is required, and which buses will be low floor easy access. If this is a trip you take regularly, you can save it into your My Trips. When you go to save your trip, you will be given two options. If you travel at the same time each day, use the Always Use Selected Time on Today option and each time you access this trip from your My Trips, the same time will come up. If you travel at a different time each day, use the Always Ask Me for the Trip Time option and each time you access this trip from your My Trips, you will be asked to enter a travel time. You can also create a timetable for this trip which will contain stop level information about your trip. Click on the Create a Timetable for this Plan link and your trip will be created for you in a timetable format. We'll go into more detail on this in the Creating Timetable section.